Guys, guys, in this video, um, we are going to learn how to do the um, production plan, optimal production plans when some input uh, availability is limited. So, uh, it is some covers under the short term decision making subject uh, in HNDA, uh, second year, second semester. 2020 past paper uh, I took um, there's a question in 4 and section C the question is Dilmit limiter is manufacturing three product X Y and Z and selling them in a uh, competitive market detail of current demand selling price and Cost success are given below. Expected demand are given for three product. Selling price also there. Variable variable cost direct material twenty rupees per kilogram and direct labors three rupees per hours. Variable overheads also there. The fixed overhead cost per period. 276,000 the company is frequently affected by acute scarcity of raw materials and high labor turnover during the next period it is expected that raw material available will be only 24,200 kilogram you are required to prepare best production plan and determine the expected profit Right, we need to prepare the best production plan and expect a profit. So first, um, there's a limiting factor that is the material, only available twenty four thousand two hundred kilogram. So we need to allocate the production based on the contribution of raw material. So we should. Calculate the contribution per unit first, then we need to convert the contribution unit uh, to required raw material contribution. Yes, let's do. Let's do the sum first. Contribution calculation. So contribution means sales minus variable cost. So selling price. As per the question paper, 40, 32, 20. 40, 32, 20. Right. Second one, variable cost. First variable cost, direct material. Direct material for X 12 rupees, for Y 8 rupees, for Z 4 rupees. 12 rupees, 8 rupees, and 4 rupees. Direct labor. For X 6 rupees, for Y 6 rupees, for Z 3 rupees. And third one, variable overhead. Variable overhead is 4 rupees, 2 rupees, 2 rupees. Right. So, contribution per unit, sales minus variable cost. Contribution per unit. Right. Next, the availability of the raw material twenty four thousand two hundred kilogram. So 
we need to convert the contribution per unit to required labor hours. So we should enter the required labor hour. Sorry, required material. Required material. There's a point clearly the per kilogram 200 rupees and they use 12 rupees for x so how many kilograms has been used we can calculate 12 rupees divided by 20 so 0 0.6 kilogram used for x and for y 8 rupees but the kilogram price 20 so 0 0.4 for sat using 4 rupees kilogram 20 rupees so 0 0.2 kilogram right so required material for x 0 0.6 kilogram for y 0 0.4 kilogram for sat 0 0.2 kilogram then contribution for required material required material so contribution 18 rupees for x contribution per unit so divided by 0 0.6 so 30 contribution for by 16 rupees so divided by 0 0.4 so 40 11 rupees for sat and required material 0 0.2 so 55 so based on the contribution for required material we can able to um, rank the um, profit we should do first sat second y and third x so based on this ranking we can able to allocate resources to do the optimal product so let's calculate the optimal production so best product product So we are going to do the first things the set production. So set production. Set production. How many units we need to do for set? As per the question paper, the expected demand 40,000. So 40,000 unit going to do the Mm, production on set and required material 0 0.2 so total required material 800 kilograms and second one we need to do the Y product and how many unit we need to produce 24,000 and required material 0 0.4 so total material for by Nine thousand six hundred. The availability of the material as per the question paper twenty four thousand two hundred. We already used eight thousand for uh, set nine thousand six hundred for Y. So we should use the balanced raw material for x 
six thousand six hundred material can be able can be able to use for <coughs> x. So required material zero point six. 